Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. What could be more fascinating than exploring extraordinary rare tiaras, especially those created by the esteemed Cartier Jewelry House? This is the second video on my channel featuring a collection of Cartier tiaras. Here, I have endeavored to curate the rarest and lesser known specimens for your perusal. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Were you delightfully surprised by any of these pieces? Before we begin, please support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Queen Marie of Romania's Pearl Tiara Queen Marie of Romania, a descendant of both Queen Victoria of Great Britain and the Tsar of Russia, faced the challenge of rebuilding her jewelry collection after many pieces were lost in Russia. To replenish her collection, Queen Marie acquired several significant pieces from her financially struggling Russian relatives. Among these acquisitions was a Diamond Art Deco tiara from Cartier, purchased in 1921. This tiara is believed to have incorporated pearls from the Fabergé Imperial Pearl Tiara, belonging to her mother. The tiara featured nine pear-shaped pearls suspended from arches and six large round pearl buttons set in arcade-shaped ornaments, all encircled by diamonds. Additionally, a single round pearl was positioned atop the center. After Queen Marie's death in 1938, her daughter Princess Elizabeth inherited the pearl and diamond tiara. However, a decade later, the Romanian royal family was forced into exile by the communist government. It remains uncertain if Princess Elizabeth managed to smuggle the tiara out of the country. There is speculation she might have sold the piece during her exile, or perhaps left it to her lover, Mark Favrat, whom she adopted three months before her death in 1956. Mary Scott Townsend's Cartier Tiara A Belle Epoque diamond tiara, crafted by Cartier in 1905, originally belonged to American railroad heiress Mary Scott Townsend. It was then left to her daughter, Matilda Townsend Wells, in 1931. Matilda, in turn, bequeathed it to her cousin, Thora Ronalds McElroy, in 1949. The tiara found its way back to Cartier when it was purchased at a Sotheby's auction in 1991. Crafted in platinum, it features seven pear-shaped diamonds weighing approximately 17 carats in total, complemented by old and rose-cut diamonds set in a milligrane setting. Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna of Russia's Sapphire Tiara Grand Duchess Marie Pavlovna the Younger was the proud owner of a 1908 Cartier Tiara, a centerpiece of a sapphire and diamond parure, which she received as a wedding gift from her father, Grand Duke Paul Alexandrovich. Despite the turmoil of the revolution, which claimed the life of her father, the resourceful Marie survived. In the years that followed to sustain herself, she sold many of her jewels, including this exquisite tiara. Beatrice Mills's Tiara This remarkable diamond tiara, crafted by Cartier in 1937, is embellished with numerous large pear-shaped diamonds and was once owned by Beatrice Mills following her marriage to the 8th Earl Grenard. Beatrice had a special affinity for Cartier's creations and frequently commissioned many exquisite items from the prestigious firm. Yet, what makes the commission of this tiara particularly fascinating is its timing. By 1937, Kokoschnik-style tiaras had fallen out of fashion. According to jewelry historian Hans Nadelhofer, Lady Grenard was the last significant customer purchasing Kokoschniks in London. Regrettably, the tiara was later dismantled. In 2019, Christie's auctioned the top three elements as brooches, fetching $531,000. The centerpiece, featuring a stunning 13.74 carat pear-shaped diamond, was also offered for sale. Lady Astor's Tiara the Astor Tiara, crafted by Cartier around 1906, is centered around the legendary 55.23 carat Sansi diamond. This stone's fascinating journey dates back to 1398, first recorded in the inventory of the Duke of Milan's daughter. However, its complete history is too intricate and lengthy to detail here. In 1906, the diamond was acquired by Lord William Waldorf Astor, first Viscount Astor, who had the gem set into a tiara as a gift for his fiancée, Nancy Langhorne. 
Nancy Langhorne, who later became the first woman elected to the House of Commons, often wore the tiara at significant events, such as the coronation of King George VI in 1937. A distinguished figure in English society, Nancy Astor had several adversaries, including Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill. Their famous witty exchange highlighted their sharp interactions, where she suggested poisoning his coffee, and he countered he'd gladly drink it. In 1935, the tiara was lent by Lady Astor to her niece, Nancy Lancaster, for King George V's Silver Jubilee Ball at Buckingham Palace. After Nancy Astor's death in 1964, the Sansi diamond remained in the Astor family until 1978, when it was sold to the Louvre for $1 million by Lord William Waldorf Astor, fourth Viscount Astor. It is believed the tiara is still held by the family, now featuring a different stone. Princess Dorothy's Flower Tiara Crafted by Cartier in 1938, this tiara showcases an Art Deco design, featuring a central flower that can be detached and adorned as a brooch. Initially, it was loaned to Madame Marguerite Lebrun, the wife of the French president, for a gala performance in 1939. Cartier later retained the tiara, using it in promotional materials. By the 1950s, the tiara had found its way into the collection of Princess Dorethy. She skillfully wore the central flower on her hat for the wedding of Grand Duke Jean of Luxembourg and Princess Josephine Charlotte of Belgium. The princess also showcased the tiara's versatility and elegance by wearing it at a ball and subsequently at a gala during the Duke of Edinburgh's visit to Belgium. In the 1980s, Princess Dorethy altered the Cartier flower tiara into a smaller piece, which was auctioned at Christie's during that era. Its current whereabouts remain a mystery. Intriguingly, the original design of the tiara appears to have inspired a piece worn by Lady Danbury in the acclaimed series Bridgerton. The Platinum and Sparkling Oat Tiara Crafted in 1911, its design features stylized patterns of oat grains arranged in a series of brilliant cascades. Suspended on delicate platinum threads, the grains are designed to move freely, forming two branches that converge yet fan out towards the center. Remarkably, this tiara can also be transformed into a corsage, showcasing its versatile and innovative design. The Necklace and Tiara of Countess Warwick. On July 11, 1933, Rose Bingham's marriage to Charles Greville, the seventh Earl of Warwick, was commemorated with a magnificent necklace crafted by Cartier in the 1930s. This exceptional piece featured five pendants, each consisting of two evocative drops. Its centerpiece was a detachable pendant, magnificently adorned with emerald-cut diamonds and crowned by a pear-shaped diamond. The necklace itself was an artful arrangement of 46 openwork links, secured by an elongated oval diamond clasp. In an innovative transformation, Cartier later reimagined this jewel, removing nine drops to craft the Countess's diamond tiara. A photograph from 1935 captures Countess Warwick gracefully adorned with both pieces, showcasing their combined splendor. Shortly after, it was repurchased by Cartier in May 1937 and entered a period of storage. In a twist of fate, the Nizam of Hyderabad acquired this masterpiece in 1947 for 5,000 pounds. This purchase was intended as a wedding gift for the woman who would become Queen Elizabeth II. The tiara was sold separately, and its whereabouts are unknown. Art Deco Tiara the tiara, crafted by Cartier, showcases diamonds and a large carved emerald set in platinum. It was prominently displayed at the Cartier exhibition held at the Grand Palais in Paris in 2014. The emerald bears a resemblance to the renowned Taj Mahal emerald, a 141.13 carat gem carved circa 1630 to 1650, featuring intricate designs of chrysanthemum, lotus, and Mughal poppy flowers. Notably, the Taj Mahal emerald had made an earlier appearance, being featured in a necklace at the 1925 International Exhibition of Decorative Arts and Modern Industries in Paris, showcasing its enduring allure and significance in the world of high jewelry. This tiara was bought by a mysterious buyer at a high price at the Christie's auction in 2019. Now it seems that this mysterious buyer is Pansy Ho, a Hong Kong billionaire businesswoman. The Pearl and Diamond Tiara Necklace 
This tiara necklace is a source of pride for the Cartier Jewelry House. Its main adornment is a natural pearl of exceptional quality. The centerpiece features a perfectly symmetrical drop-shaped pearl weighing 8.3 grams with a silvery hue, likely sourced from the Persian Gulf, making it one of the most exquisite pearls in the world. It can also be worn separately as a pendant. The pearl belonged to Queen Mary of Teck, the wife of George V. It is believed that the jewel was passed down through generations, from Queen Mary of Teck to her daughter, also named Mary, born in 1897. Mary, the Countess of Harewood, then passed the jewel to her son, George Lascelles, who gifted it to his wife, Patricia, on their wedding day. The pearl, as part of the tiara necklace, remains in the possession of the Harewood family. In 2014, the tiara was exhibited at the Antique Biennial in Paris. Thank you for watching this video. Share your impressions in the comments and support my channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you.